Ukraine has launched a 1.4 billion euro program to upgrade the safety of its nuclear power plants, investment which will bring the reactors in line with international safety standards. The European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, or EBRD, is combining with Eurotom, the European Atomic Energy Community, to support this program. Nuclear safety is of the utmost importance for the whole continent. The EBRD is very concerned in safety. It's very concerned that uh, all these facilities are run in the, most, in the, safer, but in the safest possible way. Mm -hmm. It is, I think, a responsibility of an organization like ours mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, energy is not only delivered in an affordable and secure way, but is delivered in a safer way as possible. We all know that nuclear is a kind of energy where we cannot afford any mistake, and this is the real sense of this project, to make sure that it is safe. Currently, Ukraine has 15 operating nuclear reactors located at four sites spread across the country. Between them, they generate around half of the nation's electricity. What are the goals of this new investment? The goal of the investment is very clear and it's about uh, uh, improving the safety aspects of all the reactors being active in Ukraine. Uh, from a technical viewpoint, it's about uh, up to 87 um, technical uh, measures to be undertaken and this will bring the reactors to uh, the same uh, European Union and international standards and to the standards of the International Atomic Energy Agency. So it's, it's a very important project. In recent years, Ukraine has seen increased investment in green energy, like hydro or wind power and energy efficiency, with EBRD involvement. But nuclear energy remains the only viable option to counterbalance the country's dependence on imports of oil and gas. So, what safeguards are in place to guarantee delivery of this new safety upgrade? Of course, we have done extensive due diligence, not only on the project and the technical aspects of the project itself, but we also had uh, due diligence with external consultants on the capacity of Energoatom to implement the project in the, in, the, in the right time. We are very satisfied about this due diligence, and of course, we will continue monitoring. There will be a, a, a project implementation unit which will go to help Energoatom in the implementation, but we are reasonably satisfied that this will happen on time and on budget. The engagement of the international community will include continuous monitoring. But what about the criticism that this new program will extend the lifetime of reactors, which some people feel should be shut down as soon as possible, or at least phased out by a fixed date? I think we have to be realistic. Nuclear energy represents 25% of the uh, capacity, of the installed capacity in Ukraine, and it represents around 46% of the energy being generated in the country. This is not a project about extending the life of the reactors. The decision to extend the life belongs to the sovereign, belongs to the country. This is a project about making sure the reactors are as safe as possible. And you always go back to the example, would we do that even if these reactors were shut down in one year? Yes, we would because we cannot take the risk, even for one single year, that something goes wrong. So we concentrate very much on safety, and it's not important about how long the reactor is going to stay. It's important to be as safe as possible. And the EBRD isn't just investing in the nuclear safety upgrade. The bank is also funding more renewable power sources. The EBRD is extremely committed to develop renewables in Ukraine. We have financed and we have helped in the development of the renewables law and the tariff uh, setting mechanism for renewables. And we've been the first investors in three renewable projects, two of, the, two of them in wind farms and one of them in solar. So actually, this is something we do uh, on a continuous basis while the project in the nuclear is, is just a project that happens from time to time when safety is concerned. So, but our normal business is certainly energy efficiency and renewable are key in Ukraine. The nuclear safety upgrade is scheduled to finish by the end of 2017. That Ukraine will then be able to comply with international standards in nuclear power generation with EBRD help represents a milestone for the country and also for the rest of Europe.